This is a look at the Browning Strike Force HD Elite camera. This is model BTC5 HDE. This is the newest 2016 model. It's similar in a lot of ways to the 2015 model that I also have, but there's a few differences. This is a red flash camera as opposed to a black flash camera or no glow camera. Um, so, in general, red flash cameras take better pictures at night, but Animals can pick up the, the red flash a little bit easier than the black flash. Not always, but there's sometimes they can. I found that if you put um, the camera above the eye level of an animal, of a deer, for instance, they're generally less likely to notice. However, nothing's given, and each animal reacts a little bit differently to it. But uh, I've generally found that they don't really pay much attention when that happens. So some of the differences between this year and last year, there's a little bit improved trigger speed for video and pictures. Video, this is coming in right around a one second trigger speed. For pictures, it's well under one second. This year there's also dynamic video, which it allows you to record as long as there, if the option's selected, it allows you to record as long as there's an animal in front of the camera. That could be good or bad depending on the size of your SD card and what you're going after and that that sort of thing but um, that's opposed to having like a set interval like a five second recording or ten second whatever the case may be it also has an SD card overwrite setting where if you're getting near the end of your SD card capacity it'll delete the oldest now this is a very small camera as opposed to a lot of them on the market and I like that this does not have an LCD screen so you can't review pictures in the field uh, which is a downside but you know there's so many other great things about this camera that I don't really care this is my favorite camera to use particularly in this price range and you can often pick up uh, last year's model which is quite similar but uh, you can pick it up for uh, 30 40 dollars less and I've got right now 11 cameras in the field and I much prefer using this as opposed to all the other ones. It's easy to set up. It takes great pictures. One of the downsides is it's not quite, uh, it doesn't have quite the range that some of the other cameras, some other cameras have, like the uh, Bushnell. But uh, the picture and video quality is second to none. And it's certainly one of the tops. Detection range on this is 45 feet. It says on the box 55, but it's actually 45 for all intents and purposes. So overall, um, you know, there's not a lot of motion blur. It's a great camera. It takes great day or night pictures. It's fast. Um, you know, it, it's it's one of the best values out there on the market for the price range that it's in. And I recommend it over stealth cams and spy points and uh, Bushnells that that I've had. And I've I've had a lot of uh, the Chinese cameras too that. Um, you know aren't aren't nearly up to the same standard but definitely it's a great great camera and one of my favorites if you have any questions I'd be happy to answer them just uh, leave them below thanks for watching